Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm gonna show you how to integrate AdMob into your BuildBox game. This is so easy. If you're new to BuildBox, be sure to like and subscribe as I put out content when it comes to making games, tips, tutorials. If you're on the free version of BuildBox, you literally have to do nothing. Ads are already integrated into the software. This is one of the ways BuildBox is able to remain free for you because they take a small percentage. I believe it's 10% of the total ad revenue and then they send you a check. I know that some people will be upset and and think that it's not BuildBox's place to do this, and that's okay. You don't have to use BuildBox free version. In my opinion, making money off of games is really difficult. If you're able to make an amazing hit game and make a substantial amount of money, once you do that, you'll be able to purchase the pro version, then get all of the revenue. And the pro version is just $60 a month or $500 a year. Now I have the pro version, but let's just jump into setting up AdMob. With the new 3.1.1 version, it is so simple to set up AdMob. So step one, you need to have an AdMob account. I'm assuming you already have one. Open up AdMob.com. You wanna go to apps. We will be adding an app. Have you published your app on Google Play or the Play Store? No, face for 3D, the new game I am working on, iOS. Okay. This is your application ID for the game. You will need to copy this app ID and paste it within BuildBox. So let's go ahead and copy it right now. Go to BuildBox. We are in my Space Force game. And then you select the Settings tab. Go up here and then select SDK and you want to add AdMob. Here you can see the app ID, which is what I had just copied from admob.com, and you paste in the app ID. Here we're gonna have an ID for the banner ID and interstitial ID, also a reward video ID if you have that in your game. Go to create new ad unit. First, we're gonna select a banner ad, and this will be base force banner ad, create ad unit. So here again is the app ID, and next you wanna select the ad unit ID, copy, paste, and then paste it right here next to where it says banner ID. And now we're gonna create another ad unit, and this will be the interstitials, create ad unit. And here you'll have an ad unit ID. You wanna select this, copy, and then go back to BuildBox, look at the interstitial ID, and paste. Now I'm not gonna add a reward video for this, then you just hit okay. Last part to add ad ads in your game is you just go to the UI menu screen, check the checkbox when you want a banner ad, check the checkbox when you want an interstitial ad, and then you can adjust the frequency to how often you want these ads to show. Interstitial is usually set to a frequency of three on a game over. The primary UI screen usually has the banner ads, and then the game over ads are usually have interstitial ads. You are done. This is how simple it is to implement implement AdMob in the pro version of BuildBox. There's also Iron Source, which I assume is just as simple. From here, you can upload your game onto the App Store or Test Flight and see the ads working. One month ago, this was not even possible to implement ads so easily, and now we did it in less than a couple of minutes. BuildBox has definitely come a long way. They've just made it a lot easier trying to make ad revenue with mobile games. So if you like this video, if this was informative, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you next time. Peace. Audio test.